As the election approaches, Londoners have the opportunity to choose a new mayor for the first time since 2008, as neither Boris Johnson nor Ken Livingstone are running this year. Leading candidates Sadiq Khan and Zach Goldsmith have pledged to address London's housing issue and improve transport links across the city centre. However, their policies differ when it comes to employment, security and city rejuvenation. So, we've taken to the streets of South West London to see what people feel are the most pressing issues that need to be addressed in the next four years. I don't think freezing fares is a good idea per se. I think you need to cost things out and you need to be more flexible and adapt to it. So are you freezing fares? Does that then mean that you can't actually fund improvements? That, that would make me quite nervous, someone that says freeze fares. Freezing the um, transport fees across London for the next four years would be fantastic. So that would be good. And the, the candidate, whoever's um, going to do that, I would definitely vote for. Okay. <laughs> Just be like, no. <laughs> Is it good? Like, is it good policy? But I know it's unrealistic. Okay. And um, I've already made my decision up. So. So, do you think that the policy for a greener London could push your vote towards Zach Goldsmith? It could push my vote towards Zach Goldsmith. But you know, we've got to remember we had the Clean Air Act in the 1960s, and uh, and London has progressed since then. Okay. That's why it's so clean and bright. So yeah, if anyone wants to make it cleaner and brighter, that's good to me. Absolutely. So, what are the most important policies for South West Londoners? And are there any additional concerns that the incoming mayor should address? Yeah, the only problem is with Wimbledon, it's a lovely area, but there's too many restaurants and there's quite a lot of bars. So obviously that attracts the wrong crowd, obviously late in the evening. But then that's because I'm an older generation. My daughter probably will disagree with me. <laughs> <laughs> Housing. Housing's the main thing. Okay? Housing's the main thing. There's no point talking about a percentage of house prices rising if nobody can realistically afford to live in there. So you're just going to be building empty houses for potentially people that are never going to be able to afford it. That's, that's what I think. I think an incoming mayor, most certainly a priority for Wimbledon residents, needs to be that they look at Crossrail. Yeah, I think both of them talk about housing and have made transport as quite key. I'm undecided at the moment about who to vote for. Mm -hmm. I think Zach's very into the environment, um, which as I said isn't really a top priority for me. Oh, to make improvements in South West London? Uh, well, just obviously uh, a, a fair housing policy, which is very important for the people who live and work here. Um, and, and to keep our hospitals strong and and our transport system safe and, and and to make sure that London to make London the envy of the world would be the ideal uh, situation and, and cr including our part of London too. For South West Londoners then, housing takes priority over the environment and spending money sensibly trumps city rejuvenation. Whoever wins the election tomorrow will face an uphill struggle when it comes to fixing housing crisis and improving transport networks without compromising London's green spaces. The question of whether either candidate's policies are realistic will be answered soon enough.